Hey guys, it's Duct Tape CZ, and this is my Duct Taper of the Week video. If you are unfamiliar with what exactly that is, you should go check out my other videos and show some love to the people that have the original tutorials on these. So um, basically, all you're doing is letting me know where I can find your unique tutorial. It doesn't have to be really super special unique. It just I'm looking for something that might be a little different than your everyday wallet. Basically, you tell me where it's at, I craft something from it, I tell people the many different uses, and I explain how uh, well put together your tutorial is, and refer it to people of whatever experience level it may be for. So it's kind of like a free shout out for you, and a project of the week for me. <laughs> so very simple, just you can either message me um, where I can find your tutorial, your channel name or your, the link to the tutorial you can come on it down below or you can email me at duct at gmail com. the person that I chose this week for the my duct taper of the week is clover DTC her tutorial is for a luggage tag slash name tag which I thought was perfect for right about now since uh, most kids are on spring break right now and uh, you might be traveling whether it be to another state another country or even just downstate so Obviously, they are name tags and um, luggage tags. So it doesn't take very many supplies. You obviously just need some duct tape and a plastic for your window and um, some something to hook it. It could be Velcro. It could be a snap. Um, yeah. So as I said, it was a very easy tutorial. It was well put, um, and it doesn't take very many very very many supplies to create this, and it's perfect for this time of the year. Not only just for your luggage, but if you are traveling somewhere and you have children with you and you're afraid of them getting lost, it'd be perfect to hook this to their belt loop or even a lanyard hook or even a key fob. In the clear window, you can put information like their name, um, maybe the parent's name, and a phone number where they can reach you um, if your child is lost. So I thought that would be a perfect idea for that. Also for your luggage, obviously. And also a name, um, an, an ID tag. You can slip your ID in there. I'm just going to put a gift card because I don't want to put my ID. But yeah, you just slip it in there and um, hook it. It's very easy, simple to use. There's not a lot that I could um, recreate with it. But I did add a Ziploc coin pouch, as you can see right here. And it's hidden, which I absolutely love because if you are using this, a lot of um, students have to have an ID present. This would be perfect for a lanyard hook to wear to school or even a key fob. And you have a little Ziploc closure here for your um, lunch money, which is hidden. So you wouldn't have to worry about somebody stealing your money or losing it. Um, so also I thought this would be a very great feature for somebody that might be um, jogging. You can put your information right here, especially if like, uh, say for example, I have hypoglycemia, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much the same as a diabetes. It's in the diabetes family, but it's the opposite. I have low blood sugar. So if I'm running and my sugar is really low and I happen to pass out or go into a seizure, all my information is right here. And letting a medical um, person know, a first responder know that the reason why I might have passed out or went into a seizure is because I have low, low blood sugar and they can know exactly how to treat me. Also, if you are going somewhere... And you want to put your medical information in here and you also have to have a, a medicine at a specific time of the day you can slip it right here in your ziploc coin pouch seal it up and have it with you in case you need it so i think that is also a very great use for this um i personally would probably use this if i were going to the casino or to a club because one you can put your id in there which i'm going to pretend this is my id <laughs> you can also put other cards back there so if you have a credit card or a debit card you can stack them in there I have three right here and obviously there's still plenty of room for more so if you want to put five cards in there you could you have your casino card your ID your credit card whatever you want to put back there um, you can hook this to a lanyard hook you know your belt loop pretty much anything you can hook this to have it right here slip your money in back here into your ziploc coin pouch and you are set so this would be perfect for something like that or something that you have to actually have an ID for. So I absolutely love this. Um, I think there are so many great uses for one of these. It doesn't take much time to make one and it's very simple. So I had fun with it. I made a couple other ones. I'll show you really quickly. And also if you're trying to uh, figure out 
where you can find this tutorial, there will be a link down below in the description. And in the very beginning, there should have been a link that you can click on right on this video that will take you to it. So, I had a lot of fun with these. As I said, they were very easy, they were quick, and um, especially if you're going away. I don't know why I'm trying to open it like that. Don't ask. But um, if you're going away uh, really soon, it's something you can make within like probably 15 minutes and have it ready with your luggage. And you'd be set for your spring break, and if your luggage was lost, then they could easily contact you. If your child was lost, they could easily contact you. Um, and if you are going out somewhere and you have a medical um, problem, it can be all listed right here in case something were to happen to you. So, like I said, there are so many different uses for it. It's very easy. Oh, I did want to mention, the very first one I made was this one right here. I didn't like it because I didn't put the blue up high enough and I probably shouldn't have put the blue on at all because it's perfect just the way that it was. So I didn't put a hook on the back of this one. Um, but this one was the first one that she shows you where there is no Ziploc coin pouch. And basically if you want to add a Ziploc coin pouch, it's very simple. If you've ever put a pocket behind an ID, it's basically you're doing the exact same thing except for you're adding this um, back section. This piece right here and you're adding your ziplock so it's very simple um yeah so that is it go check her out go show some love and um once again if you have a unique tutorial you can comment it down below and box me or email me it and maybe your tutorial or maybe your crafted item from your tutorial will be featured in an upcoming week so i will see you guys next week and thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to go subscribe and watch clover dtc's tutorial bye guys